Guys, welcome back to the channel, and thank you for sticking around. I know it's been, I think, about a week since I was last able to upload. But like I mentioned in my community post, just things just came up that took priority. And since I'm not even nowhere close to being able to do things like YouTube on a full-time basis, I have to prioritize my time and my schedule when it comes down to uploading. I try to upload at least every two or three days, but just sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. And given the fact that doing these videos are extremely time consuming, uh, especially when it comes down to um, like drum performances and stuff, a five to 10 minute drumming video, that could be a four or five, even six hour um, project because it got the performance, the audio engineering, the video editing, which is extremely tedious. And that still takes a long time to to uh to push out so i appreciate you guys' patience and thank you again for sticking around so believe it or not this is actually my 100th upload kind of surprised that i've even hit 100 because i've been doing the youtube thing for about uh i think it's been almost exactly four months maybe a little bit longer so in some ways it feels like i should be beyond 100 uploads but on the other hand i feel like Wow, I'm kind of surprised that I've hit 100 at this point. So in any case, this is going to be another episode of Machine Drum Mondays. And we're going to be checking out Dominator. And that's all I'm going to say about his name because his full name, I don't feel capable of pronouncing. And I apologize for that. Up until 2017, it looks like he was the drummer for Dark Funeral. And now he's the drummer for the band Nordschebel, which I'm sure I pronounced that incorrectly. And again, I apologize. Please don't crucify me for it. But for the video that we're going to be checking out today, it's going to be of a playthrough for Dark uh, with Dark Funeral, Wobbuscum Satanus, the drum cam. So let's go ahead and check this out. I got a feeling this is going to be good. That's how we're starting out. Just like that, just 100 miles an hour, right out the gate. Let me go back. Yes! God, okay. First thing I noticed is his kit is truly set up in left-handed fashion. That's one thing. Um, second, he uses a looks like a quick wrist twitching motion to be able to pull those strokes off typically you see guys at that speed use a lot more finger oriented techniques not saying that he isn't using his fingers to some degree for this but i feel like his fingers are just kind of helping a little bit with the downstroke but it's more so like his wrists so i say that to say this that's years of training and practice to be able to do it like that because your wrist is a larger muscle group than your fingers. Although, getting the dexterity for your fingers right takes a lot of time, too. In any case, we're off to a great start. It's so interesting, at this speed, like, just how like precise he is with his movements and it's also really cool to see a left-handed drummer's approach to doing fills like that because as a right-handed drummer we we've got a typical way that we move around the kit but with him it almost it almost like kind of plays with your mind a little bit to see him go from the tom over here over here very cool stuff Tell me that wasn't some good bell work right there. First of all, the blast beat sounded incredible. That bell work, mm, beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, the link to the original video will be in the description, as I always do for all my reactions, because I know there's people out there that really don't care to hear me talk. If you're one of those people, just check out the original video and spare yourself the torture of looking at me. If you're sticking around, that means you want to hear what I have to say about this stuff. So, there's that disclaimer. That's really interesting. Uh, his approach to Phil's, it, he's, I mean, he's balls to the walls with it for sure. But the song kind of dictates that at the same time. But it's really cool to see his approach to the Tom work and combining that with cymbal work for his Phil's. Also, interestingly enough, you can hear his kick drum really well in this mix. And I don't know why that is, because typically with a setup like this, the kick drum will be really muffled or quiet or it'll, it'll just kind of, kind of get lost in the mix. Also, the speed that he's playing at, too, uh, depending on his technique, which I really can't see what it is, you could lose some backward momentum from the beater swing because of how fast it's going. And typically that's a setup that would um, be indicative of using triggers to help uh, at a sample sound to it that way you don't have to worry about the volume especially in a live setting like this but i can hear everything just fine Alright, triplet transition. This is a lot of intensity to keep up in this song. I, I I salute him because going from the straight feel to the triplet transition and then quickly back to a straight feel and you've got 16th notes just going all over the place, that's exhausting. And he's in armor. We're going back. We're going back. We're not just going to just walk past that fill. Mm -mm. First of all, you're not going to speed past that. Go back. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. If you haven't heard the song before, there's no way that you would expect that. <laughs> Go. 
Yo, I have got to hear the the um, the studio version of this song because this the drumming that he's doing here is insane. It's the live recording doesn't do it justice because you can't completely hear the full mix with the guitars. But just based off what the drums are doing, I know this song is ridiculously intense. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> mm. Man, his drumming, I'm trying to find a way to explain this. It's like... Oh, man, it's like death by a thousand cuts. Just it's so visceral, like his approach to his fills and just like the the level of intensity while still keeping like this sharp, the hard hitting velocity to his hits. I I don't know. This this was an experience. I mean, what? And the, <laughs> his unorthodox approach to some of his fills too, like the hi hat pattern mixed with the uh, I, I don't even know what to even call the rudiments that he was doing on the snare drum, but it was alternating between that and the hi hats, and then back. Uh, man, it, it, okay, he didn't got me flustered. Good grief. Okay, all right. <sighs> Breathe. All right, we good. We good. So on a side note. I feel like Activision borrowed their character Lars from Guitar Hero. I feel like they were heavily inspired by this band with the look. Here, I'll put a picture up here. <laughs> but that's a, that's a good thing, though. You know, um, this right here was incredible. And it makes me want to dive more into black metal to be honest, just based off of what I heard here alone. So Dominator, incredible. I can see why, like, you're revered as a top-tier black metal drummer. I mean, there's no question about why. <sighs> okay, in any case, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Um, I've got, man, I've got a list of projects that I want to do, and I'm considering starting a patreon or getting the youtube membership program going i'm still trying to think about the perks that i would offer members um probably be something like first priority to checking out reaction videos or uh drum cover request or you know things things of that nature i'll give it some more thought and see just something that would kind of help me uh support the channel because i'm not i'm not making any money on this I think I just cleared a hundred bucks <laughs> since I've since I've been monetized with this. But uh, a lot of the drum covers that I do, a lot of the reactions that I do with the actual music, none of that stuff is monetized. You know, I'm, I'm not getting any money off that. So everything that I try to do, you know, mics and lighting and anything for the drum set maintenance, you know, any of that stuff, uh, the audio equipment, all that's out of my own pocket. Cameras out of, out of my own pocket. You know, so I'm just going to give it some more thought and I'll let you guys know what I decide to do on that. In any case, thank you all for sticking with me through this video. And if you got to the end, I salute and applaud you. Please like, comment, please subscribe as well. That way I don't get completely buried underneath all the other great videos that you got for your subscription. And the algorithm might actually smile a little bit on me you know, for a change. Also, since the algorithm has changed a lot with YouTube lately, um, if you wouldn't mind putting the bell notifications on, that way you'll know when I upload, because YouTube didn't got weird lately. Like, I can't even explain, but there's some, there's some weird shit going on. In any case, guys, thank you again, and I will catch you on the next video later on.